So what to do, how to, how to fix it, how to gain your self-esteem back? You should go back to the beginning. So you have to become like a mother or a parent for yourself. Uh, step number one, every time when you feel that your emotions are raising, when you feel some strong feelings, you should ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? So uh, instead of uh, trying to ignore your feelings and pretend that you are confident, you should face your feelings. You should ask yourself, what am I feeling right now? Am I mad? Am I angry? Am I sad? Am I exhausted? What am I feeling right now? So you have to name the emotion, name your feelings. Step number two is to ask yourself, why am I feeling it? Uh, what was the cause for that feeling? What was the trigger? Am I mad because uh, I am hungry? Or am I mad because uh, my boss disrespected me today at work? Am I angry and argumenting with different people around me because I'm a bad person? Or maybe I am... Uh, behaving this way because I did not sleep enough for the last three days. So you have to ask yourself two extremely important questions. What am I feeling right now and why am I feeling it? When you were a child, your mother was responsible for your feelings, for your emotions. And she, together with the father and with the other close relatives, were supposed to teach you how to identify your feelings, how to see uh, why do you feel those feelings but right now you are not a child anymore this is your life this is your responsibility and only you can change it only you can improve your self-confidence and self-esteem step number three is to find a life coach a mentor a psychologist uh, is to find a group uh, is to attend a self-improvement workshop self-development seminars why? Because yes, you can do it yourself, but with the group, with the professional person, it's going to be much faster and the professional person will help you to connect with yourself on a deep, deep level. So this is your life. This is your choice. And just remember, if you don't take actions, your life won't change. So make a decision. Uh, like this video, subscribe so you won't miss anything new, share this video and thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.